And now we're back with the questions you have sent in for us to ask the wonderful world-renowned Chris Wells. Um, the last question is, what are the proper questions or the best questions to ask a plastic surgeon before any procedure? Uh, your your viewers have great questions, and that is a that is a great question for us. And it's difficult to um, to know the right questions to ask your plastic surgeon when you get in there. I think first and foremost is you ought to feel comfortable with the plastic surgeon's office from the minute you make the first contact to the time you're sitting down talking with the surgeon. If there's any disconnect, you don't feel like it's a good fit, it's not going to be a good fit. It really has to be um, a good partnership between the patient and physician. So when you're there actually talking with the physician, what are the questions you should ask? Um, you need to know for sure that your surgeon is board certified in plastic surgery. It's very simple. Are you board certified in plastic surgery? That's, that's an easy question. Um, you want to know um, where they do their surgeries. Do they operate in accredited facilities? Because in North Carolina, anyone can do surgery in their office. It's not necessarily an accredited surgery center. So are you a board certified plastic surgeon? Where do you do your surgeries? And are they accredited facilities? Those are three huge questions for your safety. Um, other questions to ask, um, do you have a specialty? Because some plastic surgeons may specialize in just the face. And if you're there for abdomen or breast, maybe that's not the best fit for you. What else, Kara? What do you think? I would say to ask them where they have privileges in the hospitals because, you know, people can have complications. You want to be able to know that your surgeon has admitting privileges and surgical privileges in a hospital environment because that's an extra layer of protection. As, as a surgeon, you have to submit all your credentials to the hospital to be able to have privileges. So if you don't have privileges at the hospital, either courtesy, active, whatever, then there may be something wrong with Big those problem. credentials. Right. I would say, don't be I'm afraid sorry. to ask questions. I mean, Absolutely. that's what I'm hearing from you. Definitely. Don't be afraid. No. Have a list Absolutely. and don't be afraid because you're pretty much interviewing. Mm -hmm. You're right. interviewing. And right. one of the best questions I've had recently is a patient asks, let's say I go through surgery, everything goes as planned, but there's something I'm not happy with. What is your policy? What happens next? I think mm -hmm. it's a very good question. You want to know what the surgeon is going to do and what the policies are. And your surgeon ought to be able to look you in the eye and tell you without it being right. any sort of an issue. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, once you operate on a patient, they're yours for their life for whatever, you know, whatever they want. And so I think it's really important, as Brian was saying, to feel a good comfort level with your surgeon from the minute. I mean, you're not going to like everybody you meet. Yeah, does that mean they're not a great surgeon? Of course not. There may be some different personalities. But to be able to have that comfort level, to be able to ask and to ask what you want, say what you want and discuss at length the details of a very intimate and potentially embarrassing part of your body or there to have something fixed, you got to have a good comfort level with your surgeon. Right. right. And I'm going to say, just as, you know, one of my favorites, you know you two are, I really do feel like you make everyone feel so comfortable, you're a master at your craft, and you make people feel at ease, yet the professionalism is to the max with your procedures. So I have to give you kudos Thank on you. that. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you so much for stopping by tonight. We always enjoy your visits and, and answering all the questions, and we hope you'll come back. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. We hope you've enjoyed these viewer questions, and keep them coming because we'll get the answers that you deserve.